Well, I'll be playing 14 and a half hours marathon at the Reagan Library October 1st, and I'm going to dedicate the whole thing to Merv. He's that kind of guy. And a song for his old pal. Longtime close friend Roger Williams and Merv Griffin shared a talent and passion for piano playing. Dear friend, I said, do you have any idea of the millions of people that you have influenced and love you over the years? As a talk show host, real estate developer, game show mogul, at 82 years old, Merv Griffin died from prostate cancer. Merv Griffin Entertainment released a DVD set featuring his most memorable interviews, including Rose Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr., and a fresh-faced Tom Cruise. You seem a little shy about all that applause. No. <laughs> wow. Griffin was a native Californian born in the San Francisco suburb of San Mateo on July 6, 1925. At the age of 19, he began his singing career on the radio, working his way into nightclubs as a solo performer. In 1950, Griffin scored a hit with I've Got a Lovely Bunch of Coconuts, which sold three million copies. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Merv Griffin became a household name, in part because he created two of the most successful game shows in television syndication history, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. And he wrote the theme song. This is Jeopardy. The Jeopardy theme is amazing. I wrote it in about 15 minutes. I just sat down at the piano and wrote this simple little folk song. In 1986, Griffin sold Jeopardy and Wheel to Columbia Pictures Television for $250 million. That same year, he was named the richest Hollywood performer in history on Forbes' annual list of the 400 wealthiest people in America. Griffin received 17 Emmy Awards and in 1994 was inducted into the Broadcasting and Cable Hall of Fame. But Griffin measured success not by accolades, but by his ability to make people laugh. Good to see you. And all the smiles he brought to everybody who knew him. But we'll never have another Merv Griffin again. There will never be another Merv Griffin. If he was worth 1.5 billion, he never carried that on his shoulder. How you doing? Griffin was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1996. He recovered. And ten years later, he said he felt great and hadn't changed a thing. I just hope I entertained the most people and they had fun with it and stuff. And my tombstone will read, I will not be right back after this message. <laughs> and at the Ronald Reagan Library, visitors signed condolence books for Merv Griffin. Griffin and the Reagans were close. And they loved him. The best friend I've ever, ever had. I mean, he and Ronnie and I were friends for... 40 or 50 years. It's Friday, and you know the legendary Roger Williams playing his piano we just saw a moment or two ago. He has a big concert coming up, a marathon concert, October 1st up at the Reagan Library. And Roger says this year he's dedicating that concert to his old pal, Merv Griffin. For now, we're live Hollywood at Lascaux, Fox 11 News.